Now the winner is, oh my nerves, Evita. <laughs> If we hadn't had Elaine, we might well not have had such a big hit. It might have been something that worked for a bit, or who knows? You can't tell. Um, I can only say that there have been plenty of other people playing Evita over the years, and I've often thought, I'm really glad they didn't open it. I think in, in, in Evita, the one thing that she really brought to the whole thing was that there was something of a resonance with what we imagined Ava Perron to be like. I felt that I wanted to play her in a positive way way um, as a sincere woman who was very passionate and probably naive i want to show you the room where evita uh, received the people who came to ask her her help yes in the different Ava Perron Foundation, is that right? Yes, and even before the foundation actually exists, she received people who had different problems. People came with all sorts of uh, difficulties and problems. Depending on what sort of uh, necessity they have, Evita would try to find them a solution. A job, pensions, work, medicines. And she would sign chits, sign some she kind of paper? She would probably sign notes so that the people would go somewhere else to get what they actually needed. Did she ever physically hand out money? They say she did when she considered it necessary, yeah. One mustn't forget, of course, that she was an actress. And so for her to sit here in this, with this power, uh, I guess in many respects it may have felt to her like she was perhaps playing a part, really. Evita's role as wife of Juan Perón was the crowning glory of a career which began as a fashion model and actress in films like this, which she later did her best to have destroyed. Que no me fijo? No. <laughs> In Buenos Aires, Elaine Page was allowed access to the government archive to view rare propaganda film from the Peron era. This is um, Ava at one of the orphanages that uh, she had built for the children, for the poor children. And as you can see, they're, they're actually all very well sort of scrubbed up. Apparently this was very important to her because as a child she didn't have any of these things. I don't think she thought too much about where the money came from, except that it's known that pressure was brought to bear on uh, companies, businessmen, to give to the foundation. Here's something that's really rather unsubtle. This little boy who's poor and transforms suddenly into a child that resembles a 
young Prince Charles. referred to as the Rainbow Tour when she came to Europe and was received by heads of state. She was known for this gesticulation, always with the two hands together and very strong. A different outfit for every occasion. Very stylish, I must say. <laughs> the tailoring of the, of the 40s designs in the show were so glamorous the nipped in 40s waists and the jaunty hats. It's always fun to play a glamorous role like that. In spite of her fame, Avita was diagnosed with terminal cancer, but she didn't allow her illness to distract her from her mission. Whatever they say about her, she, she certainly had a following. All these flowers here, it's extraordinary. I think I read somewhere that something like 80,000 wreaths were laid here. Two million filed past her coffin in just the first few days. The choice was mine. Oh, God. 